Thanks for being here. Let's get straight into the headlines. Now, according to documents filed today, Donald Trump's charitable foundation has agreed to dissolve amid an ongoing lawsuit concerning its finances. The lawsuit states that Trump illegally used the charity for his own personal and political benefits. And I just think it's beautiful that even though he's busy with the presidency, Trump still makes time for his lifelong passion driving organizations into the ground. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. It's, you know... Although the most surprising part about all of this is that the organization isn't the United States government. It's something else. <laughs> to be clear, the Trump Foundation is different from the Trump administration, which, thanks to the Russia investigation, is also slowly dissolving under court supervision. <laughs> um, in other presidential news this morning, Donald Trump announced the formal establishment of a new military space command, OK? Uh, this command is considered a significant step towards implementing Trump's dream of a fully-fledged space force. Yeah. <laughs> so that means, with the Trump Foundation dissolving, today the president was able to honor the end of one pointless organization with the creation of another pointless <laughs> organization. It's... <laughs> But this announcement has already gone to Trump's head. He's already saying that he's going to make Neptune great again. <laughs> it's called Space Command, which already sounds dumb, but it's even worse when you realise that Trump got the name from just looking down at a keyboard. The package delivery service UPS got into some hot water yesterday after sending out a tweet that rubbed some parents uh, the wrong way. See if you can tell why. The tweet they put out said, if your child addresses a letter to the North Pole, you can leave it with us. We do shredding. <laughs> Now, in their advertising, UPS always asks, what can Brown do for you? And I guess the answer is, destroy your childhood. <laughs> That's what you can do. Now, they ended up deleting the tweet, but if you think about it, can you blame UPS for their attitude? They deliver all of the presents, and Santa gets all the credit, right? <laughs> That's bullshit, and you know it. <laughs> um, and we wanted... We wanted to show you this. In England recently, there was a bit of a traffic scare as a giant inflatable Santa Claus blew onto a street and blocked commuters on the road. Here it is here. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you better watch out. <laughs> Seriously, watch out. This is... <laughs> A giant inflatable Santa in the road, because nothing says the holidays are quickly approaching, like driving down a street and seeing that the holidays are literally and quickly <laughs> approaching. <laughs> and finally, I don't know if you saw this, a perfume company in Portland recently launched the first ever perfume made with marijuana. The perfume is made from essential oils Ooh. found in cannabis but contains no THC. Yeah. Wow. I'm pretty sure marijuana perfume already exists. <laughs> <laughs> it's called marijuana. <laughs> I think Reg has been wearing this perfume for the last four years. <laughs> So, it's essentially, it's none of the fun of marijuana, but all of the downsides. <laughs> no, officer, I haven't been smoking weed. It's my unisex perfume. <laughs> it's so popular, though, other perfume brands are jumping on the bandwagon. In fact, I saw this at the department store just the other day. Take a look. Chanel number 420. 